Okay, so I didn't even. Okay, so I didn't watch the first ten minutes of this of this um, episode, and so as I was watching it, it took me a very long time to realize that Lolly and Connor were dumped. I really forgot that they were there. I was just like, for <laughs> I didn't even deep it on my phone, eating, watching, thinking, wait. Wait, Connor's not here, Lolly's not here, it took me a very long time. But yeah, Lolly and Connor were dumped. Listen, Lolly, just <laughs> this this casting, yeah? Like, this whole casting situation, I just don't understand, guys. Hey guys, that's Marab Marali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. You guys are really buying your tickets for this event that I said. The way I'm just seeing notification, notification, you lot are really buying your tickets to this Love Island finale. I know that it's not one of the best seasons. I know, guys, but the Trini, the Trini food, the music, the vibes, just seeing who wins, all being there together, then just dancing with music, the amount of freebies you guys are going to get in the goodie bags. So many PR companies are on board this year that you guys are just going to get hands, just a bag full of free shit just to enjoy for yourselves. Like pure good stuff ah the way i spoiled my subscribers is actually crazy also a meet and greet included for those who wish to obviously you know meet me and greet me i guess but buy your tickets if you don't have and um, buy your tickets buy your tickets buy your tickets comment down below comment down below <laughs> i'm too tired there's a link in the bio and the pinned comment buy your tickets guys now this challenge I, I agree was 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 messy i don't know why i'm laughing love island uk i'm sick of this season look at your age mates do you understand these usa girls and boys are doing proper challenges but what are we doing here you want to get ice cube from asda two for one you want to put it in buckets and you want to put it in my mouth to pass to somebody else and then when i drop the ice cube and i have to do challenge are we in year nine are we in year nine? Is this past the parcel? I don't know what this is. I do not know what this is. Is this past the parcel? Like, what is this? What kind of challenge is this? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, okay, Kieran likes to defend his girl. And I agree with some of the people. I believe Josh was the one who said, was it? Yeah, I believe it was Josh. Who said that Nicole really wants to be in that finale. Nicole thinks she's bagging this. You understand? Nicole thinks that she's winning this. I feel like this season... I don't know why I have so much energy, I'm shouting. I feel like this season, is there's going to be a sneak win. I'm telling you now, there's, there's going to be some kind of sneak win that's going to happen. Nicole and Kieran, it, for, for me, it's too easy for them to win. Like, I feel like they've had way too much of an easy ride that I just don't want them to win. I don't think people like Nicole as much as they like Kieran. It, it, I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. So, like, I don't know. Again, the Joey Essex Island producers have, for some reason, thought that the um, Joey Essex show of Love Island UK is what we all care about. When he's ruined the show, we don't care about the 55 triangle this man has been in on the show. This new girl's come in, Lola. Is that her name? Lola's come in, of course, wants to st steal him and etc. Apparently, he said that he's open. Grace is obviously enjoying it as she should. And of course, you know, Jess is, you know, stressing. We don't care about the Joey Essex love triangles. They're not entertaining to watch. They're not entertaining to watch. I just find it boring. I don't really, like nobody cares about it. So yet again, is it another triangle for them to prolong the season? And yet again, they huddling for these poor challenges. I don't understand why. Don't understand why. Mimi and I again had another conversation. And of course, Mimi was saying to Josh, you know, that this is done. When Josh goes outside of the villa, or if Joey Essex is going to do at least something, he's going to tell Josh what Mimi was doing on the terrace. When he finds out that Mimi was on that terrace waiting for Aya, this is Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. This is when Mimi fucked up. Because what Ekansu did is that she went to Jay and said, meet me on the terrace. That's what she said. Mimi instead told somebody to do messenger while she was waiting up there. When she could have gone to Ayo and said, Ayo, do you want to meet me on the terrace? You could have shut it down then. She would have been like, okay. Instead, she wants to wait there. Like, that's what she should have done. So when he finds that out, I know it's going to be frustrating for him. I don't think him and Joshua are going to work because Ayo is still in the picture right now. And of course, if she had it her way, she would have picked Ayo, making Josh a second option. A second option relationship is just, in my opinion, not going to work. I don't see it that's going to work. Jess is growing on me, the Jess with Ayo. I feel like recently she's been standing on business, upset about things and trying to create boundaries. And I'm here for that. Now, I do feel like Mimi has not been respecting Jess's feelings 
around the villa, but at the same time, did just respect Mimi's villa when, um, did just respect Mimi's feeling, sorry, when she was in Casa Amor trying to grab her man. No, she didn't. So that point to me is null and void. The game is the game. Charge it. And this is what Jess has done. But I do like Jess with Ayo. They're kind of growing on me in that aspect. And I just like what I'm seeing. Um, I don't know why they left it on a cliffhanger. And I don't know why they've stopped all of these tomorrow night trailers, please. Can somebody let me know why they've stopped it? They've actually stopped it. The last time we had this was two weeks ago. There's nothing going on. <laughs> I think that is why. There's nothing going on. The producers have to know. Guys, you guys were not agreeing with me before, but you guys have to agree with me now. This is the worst season of Love Island. Like, come on, guys. This is the worst season. Yeah, Nine was annoying, but we had Tanya and Movie Night. And Sanam and Kai won, which was nice to see. Six had Shawnees. Season six had Shauna and her Casa Amor moment. Like, that was nice to see as well. I just feel like this season just has nothing going for itself. We still would have had Ronnie and Harrier. We still would have had Uma in the show. That would have made things more entertaining and given us a gist. Do you understand? And I just feel like... I don't know. It's just not giving as much. But Nicole and Kieran, in my opinion, are not going to win this. It's going to be a sneak attack. It definitely is not going to be Matilda and Sean. Absolutely not, but I think it's not going to be Nicole and Kieran. It's going to be somebody else, and I don't know who could take this. It could even, I don't even, I like, honestly, I don't know who could take this. I feel like with Nicole and Kieran, it's a bit too close. It's a bit too easy, and she's too comfortable, and no one likes that smugginess that is placed on you. And I feel like Nicole might get there. It's going to rub off of her. She's not going to win this, and that's what I feel is going to happen. Um, that is what I feel is going to happen. Again, Mimi was kind of lying to Josh saying that, yeah, you know, we both have feelings for each other and etc. I don't think Ayo has those feelings. Like, I just don't think Ayo has those feelings, guys, as much. Otherwise, he would have done things and made things happen. So, I don't know. Josh will find out that Mimi was waiting on the terrace. I don't know what he's going to do about it, but I feel like he's going to find out before the end of the season as opposed to the outside. The producers would want this because you get drama for it, so we're going to just see how that rolls out. Subscribe or comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe. It's just one click, baby. Buy your tickets. I mean, you guys clearly are buying your tickets, so I should really should stop, should stop saying that. So many of you guys bought tickets today. The DMs I'm hearing as well and seeing and collecting. Like, it's going to be lit. It's going to be great. The family, we're all going to be back together again, guys, under that cute roof. I'm going to fix every one of you a plate of food to eat. A drink is also included. Free gifts, PR, goodie bags as well to each and every one of you. And we can watch Love Island together, enjoy whatever happens, dance, meet and greet, and just have vibes on vibes and vibes. And, you know, the bar will be there for those who want to buy their own drinks as well on top. It's going to be cute. It's just going to be cute. So buy your tickets to the Love Island UK event that I'm doing on the 29th of July, Monday, 8 p.m. It's going to go off, baby. Subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Sound off on the comments below because you guys really be sounding off. Like you guys really have your opinions. With the, and some of you definitely disagree with me, which I find annoying. But at the same time, we are allowed to disagree on my channel. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.